Can anyone explain to me cycle rate per hour that Honeywell uses in their thermostats? I understand how an adjustable swing temp works and determines how often the cooling and heating system operates depending on whether the swing in half degree or one degree or more from the set point, but how does changing the CPH in Honeywell thermostats change anything? Is it the CPH that determines how often the heating and cooling system operates or the program swing that Honeywell thermostats use which I heard in around half degree? When I called Honeywell tech support, they were clueless. Hello, different types of heat run different length of cycles. Radiant heat from a boiler for example needs longer run times. Forced air less. The goal for example on a gas forced air is 4 cycles per hour. In a way it is taking the place of an anticipator. A cycle means dot startup dot run time dot shut off dot and time to next cycle. So 15 minutes in heat mode gives 4 CPH. Do you have a particular type heat and I can describe further? I have a Vision Pro 8000 and the CPH is set standard at 5 for heat and 3 CPH for cooling. It is just that when it is cold and the heat comes on it runs for about 4 to 8 minutes and is off for about 8 to 12 and runs accordingly. When I put on my Robert Shaw RS5110 and set the swing for 1 degree the heat would come on and run about 10 minutes and then be off around 20 to 25 minutes. All at the same set point, which is 68 on both thermostats when I use them. I just don't want my equipment to wear out due to short cycling. The higher the number equals the more cycles. A boiler for example heats slower dot thus it would run 3 long cycles. A gravity steam runs almost non-stop so it is 1 to 2 cycles per hour a 80% furnace puts out a higher register temp than a 90% so their cycles are slightly different. Your Robert Shaw is faking the temp by overshooting what you actually went dot thus it stays off longer. The stat will read the same temp but it actually has a 3 degree swing. We get between do you want the equip to last longer dot or do you want comfort? Generally we choose in the middle. The longer cycles make unit last longer, fewer startups, but it also results in wider temperature swings thus a wiser temp range of comfort. More cycles equals closer temp as it is keeping a tight band. Ask any questions you need. So even though I have the RS swing at 1 degree what you are saying is that it overshoots the temp so if it says 69 it may be 70 when set at 68 and stay off till it hits 67? What about White Rogers how do they compare and what should my CPH be set for in my Vision Pro 8000 to 4 CPH instead of the 5? It is a single stage and is not a 90% high F furnace and what brand of thermostat would you personally recommend? The old 70% furnace 6 to 7 cycles. 80.4 to 6 cycles. I do not know which you have, I do a lot with the Honeywell Vision Pro series and have a good experience with them. It used to be we had a mercury thermostat with a 3 degree swing and we accepted that and just used it as it was designed. It could be 67 to 73 on the old mercury dial stats. But now we have gadgets, features and cycles, Anticipators. And now we can control down to one tenth degree status. This all depends on how serious you take the cycles or the comfort. Or both. I have customers that do not care about cycles. They just want exact temp all the time with no fluctuation. Then there are those that economy is paramount. And they are willing to sacrifice comfort. As I mentioned earlier, we generally choose the middle. So to answer directly I would need to know dot or particular about exact set point or equip slash economy. So the botany is that changing the CPH in the Vision Pro 8000 will change the swing in room temp? That is correct. 
I wish I would have said that dot it was a lot quicker. The last question in regards is if I change the CPH from 5 to 4 or to 3 will it in any way hurt my equipment? No it will not. The difference would be minuscule as far as mechanical operation. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.